Now, I think the biggest debate of all time when it comes to the general public's view of Disney has a lot of things boiled down to the two divisions that are failing the most. You've got Lucasfilm and you've got Marvel Studios. There's a lot of people discussing which one is in a worse position right now. I always like the point that Lucasfilm, because they fall into this vicious cycle of announcing titles slash installments, and then it either falls into production limbo, or it gets cancelled, or creative differences. This is just Lucasfilm in its own nature. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So one thing about Elon Musk that really has Disney frazzled right now has a lot to do with the fact of the whole lawsuit that's happening that Elon Musk is funding, by the way, for Gina Carano going up against Lucasfilm and even Kathleen Kennedy specifically and personally to really put herself in the hot seat. Now, there's been a lot of things happening between Elon Musk and Kathleen Kennedy that we will be discussing today, but this just goes to show you that Disney keeps falling into one issue after the other, and it's not looking good for this year, not even for 2025 and beyond. Bob Iger can't shake it off. He can't really get rid of all of the lawsuits that are following him, following the Disney company, and it's very, of course, difficult for the board of directors to keep up with this because there's already a shakeup happening between multiple members of the board as we speak based on Bob Iger's multiple terrible decisions that he's been making. Now, with that being said, what's intriguing about all this moving onwards has a lot to do with Elon Musk and what he recently did against Kathleen Kennedy and the Disney company as a whole. Let's get into this. Now, specifically with Kathleen Kennedy actively involved with the damage control surrounding the Gina Carano lawsuit that is being funded by Elon Musk, one major development has much to do with Elon's new battle against Kathleen Kennedy with his recent goal to defend Gina Carano. A crucial update to the lawsuit that is now being being fully aimed at Kathleen Kennedy, specifically with the help of Elon Musk, has much to do with the fact that recently it was brought to Disney's attention by Gina, Elon, and her legal team that Musk holds new bombshell evidence and details about Kathleen Kennedy's role at Lucasfilm and her wrongdoing of the way she fired Gina Carano and the toxic environment that was created by Kathleen Kennedy, as it turns out, that was passed down to many Lucasfilm employees that actually had issues with Gina even before her social media posts on Twitter at the time. It turns out that details about this have been handed in to Elon Musk through his own contacts over at Disney, reportedly the same contacts that unleashed all the details about Disney's push for DEI and exactly how it is to be used in all film and television formats that he previously exposed on X through a massive photo. In addition to all of this, Elon Musk reportedly holds bombshell details that were given to him through Gina Carano about Kathleen Kennedy and these said details are to be teased on his X platform sometime in March before both Gina and Elon move forward with the lawsuit again. However, it was made aware to Disney recently just how large the details about Kathleen Kennedy really are, about how much influence she truly had over the Lucasfilm employees that gave Gina tons of trouble and issues on set and on social media that are set to make both Elon and Gina's case way easier than they previously thought. This claim made by Musk and Gina's legal team that was recently warned against Disney, or teased if you will, is reportedly headed into an emotional spiral behind the scenes at Disney between Kathleen Kennedy and the rest of the board of directors over at Disney on how to handle the Gina lawsuit. Elon also reportedly has bombshell evidence about Lucasfilm's way of firing employees and or those that don't fall in line with their beliefs. This is specifically tied to Kathleen Kennedy and could very well be connected to the long-discussed toxic emails about Lucasfilm's operations, with both Gina and Elon already providing Disney a warning about how much evidence they truly have. This is causing a ruckus at Disney between Bob, the board, and Kennedy as they raced ahead onto multiple ABC-run programs to discuss their side of the story further about the firing of Gina Carano and other actors and or actresses in the past associated with Disney and or Lucasfilm that were let go and why. Now guys, let me say one thing about that real quick before I move on. They are only damaging themselves further if they do decide to go on shows like The View, who watches that anyway, who wants to watch Joy Behar nowadays, whoever did anyway. And Jimmy Kimmel Live, Good Morning America, etc., etc. 
If you go on those programs and you open your mouth about your side of the story, about Gina's firing, about other employees over at Disney and their firing, and that is only going to make their case a lot more smoother, let me tell you that much. It's going to make things a lot more vivid for Elon and Gina through the eyes of the public and for their case in general. Now, moving to the next thing, this is where it gets a little bit more serious. Now, we know that Kathleen Kennedy is doing whatever she can to keep this lawsuit from ever really moving forward that would deeply impact herself as president of Lucasfilm, as a producer associated with Disney, and let's not forget about this impact on Bob Iger and his legacy, if you even want to call Bob Iger ever having a legacy to begin with. What's interesting about this has a lot to do with Kathleen Kennedy, all right? Now, moving to the next thing, to top things off, Elon Musk and Gina Carano are already preparing to go on the Joe Rogan podcast sometime during the spring for Elon to expose new truths about Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm's operations that he has on all of them. Previously, Elon was supposed to go on Joe Rogan, you guys may recall, in January, but this was delayed after, after the Gina lawsuit started weeks ago, as it was a better opportunity for him to expose Disney and Lucasfilm further with Elon's contacts. Kennedy is already attempting to erase Gina's role as Cara Dune from both Mando Season 1 and 2, we talked about this last week as well. However, this is something that Bob Iger has not approved just yet, as that will drastically change the role of the series. And you know what? That's true. All right. If you delete Cara Dune from the show, you have to delete other characters because whenever she's on screen, she's on screen with other characters like Din Djarin, Grogu, Bo Katan, etc. etc. Now, here's the bigger problem at large is that the fact that we have Kathleen Kennedy reaching beyond expectations to unrealistic levels of coming up with that proposal to Disney to delete Gina Carano's role from Mando season one and two is not only petty, but it's very childish. It truly is. For a producer, for someone like Kathleen Kennedy, for someone so high up in the film industry, you would think that you would act a little bit more professional, right? But no, this is not a surprise. It's not a shocker after how she fired Gina. I think that's the bigger problem here. It's not just the fact that Gina was fired. A lot of people also had a very big problem with the way she was fired. No email, no phone call, no call into the office, not even a hint toward her getting let go in, you know, ahead of time by a couple of days or a day. No warning whatsoever. She just woke up to social media with these headlines that she was fired by Kathleen Kennedy and by Lucasfilm. And that was that. And there were a lot of emails that got leaked out there before her firing that were not supposed to go to some people. We talked about that too. You guys may remember that back in 2021. That really spurred up a whole lot of drama over at Disney. Uh, we'll talk more about what Elon has you know, going on with the Joe Rogan podcast. I think it's going to be legendary this spring. So if you guys would like to jot down whatever you have, guys have to say about this ongoing situation below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah.